Hello students, welcome to my channel Hans Commerce Tutorial for the lectures on Commerce Accounts, Finance and Management. My suggestion to you, before watching the video, please go to the description below my video. You will find a link there. Take a printout of the problems given in the link and keep it ready before watching the video so that you can be able to understand the problem, the solution and the explanation to get the maximum benefit from the lectures. Thank you. Come on students, now we'll start problem number fifth. Four problems already we have done and most of the problems are on merger method. Only one problem we have done on purchase method. And this problem, in the fifth problem, we are going to do by both the method. The same problem we are going to solve by merger method as well as purchase method. Now, see the fifth problem. The following are the balance sheets of P Limited and S Limited as on 31st March 2000. The two balance sheets are given P Limited and S Limited. Share capital rupees 10 each, 7 lakh 20,000, 3 lakh. 14% preference share capital of rupees 100 each, fully paid, only in S Limited. Preferentials are not there in P Limited. Then general reserve, both the companies. Export profit reserve. This is there only in S Limited. PL account, both the companies. 13% debentures are there only in S limited. Creditors are there in both the companies. Then land and building, plan and machinery, furniture, stock, data, bank. The balance sheet complete given for P limited, S limited. P limited takes over S limited on 1st April 2000 and discharges consideration for business as follows. P limited takes over S limited. So S limited is the transferer company, vendor company. And P limited is the transferee company or purchasing company. So S limited company wind up. The so, purchase consideration can issue 35,000 fully paid equity share of 10 each at part to the equity share of S limited. So 35,000 equity shares are issued. Each share 10 rupees. So 3,50,000. Then issued fully paid 15% preference share of 100 each to discharge the preference share of S limited at a premium of 10%. So presently we have preference share capital only in S limited. So how much is the preference share capital in S limited? It is given uh, 1,70,000. 1,70,000 is the preference share capital in S limited. Now P limited says we will discharge preference share of S limited by issuing preference share but 10% premium. So 1,70,000 ke jo preference share hai S limited mein uske over 10%. 10% or 5%? 10%. So 1,70,000 ka 10% 17,000. So 1,70,000 plus 17,000. 1,87,000 rupees ke preference share issue karega. Kon karega? P limited. So pahle 1,70,000 ke preference share the. Ab uske upar 10% premium. So 1,70,000 ka 10% 17,000. Add kar do 17,000. 1,87,000. Now, it is agreed that debentures of S limited will be converted into equal number and amount of 13% debenture of P limited. Actually, payment to debenture will not be considered in PC. Okay, according to AS14, PC should include only the payment made to shareholders, not to debenture holders. So, yeah, debentures come alag entry pass kar lenge, purchasing company. The statutory reserve of S limited is to be maintained for two more years. The statutory reserve, reserve export promotion reserve is given. Export uh, profit reserve. Export profit reserve 20,000 is given in S limited. And this export profit reserve is to be carried over for the next two years. Statutory reserve. You are required to show the balance sheet of P limited assuming that amalgamation is in the nature of merger and amalgamation in the nature of purchase. So you are required to make only balance sheet. No journal entries. Only balance sheet we have to show in the books of P limited. If the amalgamation is in the nature of merger and also if in the amalgamation is in the nature of purchase. So, two methods say karma. So, first of all, calculation of PC. 35,000 equity share of 10 each, 3,50,000. And 15% preference shares of rupees 100 each. So, <coughs> S limited. S limited my preference share capital 1,70,000. Uska 10 percent 17,000 add kar do. Toh 1,70,000 plus 17,000. 1,87,000. 
500. So 1 lakh 87 thousand 10 percent 70 is it? 1 lakh 87 500 or 1 lakh 87 thousand? It is 87 thousand, not 500. 1 lakh 87 thousand. So purchase consideration will become 5 lakh 37 thousand. So PC we got. 5 lakh 37. This PC will remain same whether the amalgamation is in the nature of merger or amalgamation in the nature of purchase. PC calculation remain same. Now amalgamation in the nature of merger. First we can prepare the balance sheet assuming that amalgamation is in the nature of merger. So working notes, general reserve is arrived at as follows. If amalgamation is in the nature of merger, then the balance of assets and liabilities should be adjusted in general reserve. <coughs> assets or liabilities ka jo difference aayega, what difference could general reserve mein dal dete. Kun se method mein, where amalgamation is in the nature of merger. To manum karenge kitna general reserve aara. Assets of S limited 6,60,000, you can see the balance sheet. Balance sheet mein total of assets are 6,60,000. Less liabilities taken over. Ab liabilities taken over mein, when the amalgamation is in the nature of merger, all the assets, liabilities and reserves, PNL account, every reserves will also be taken into account. So, we have export profit reserve. This is reserve 20,000. 13% depends on 50,000, credit tax 35,000. These three items, liabilities taken over by P limited. Tino ko add kalo 1 lakh 5,000. So, assets plus liabilities ko minus kalo net worth aaya 5 lakh 55,000. Assets minus liabilities net worth 5 lakh 55,000. A purchase consideration 5 lakh 37,000. PC jo pay kare 5 lakh 37,000 pay kare. 5 lakh 37,000 pay kare. A difference jo bhi aara, that difference will not be treated as goodwill. Wo goodwill kap treat karenge if amalgamation is in the nature of purchase mein. Ye amalgamation in the nature of merger hai. So the difference between net worth and PC will be transferred to general reserve. So general reserve arrived at from S limited. So S limited ke credit side, PC jab lete hai, credit side 5 lakh 37,000. Uska net worth 5 lakh 55,000. Net worth 5 lakh 55,000. So general reserve is 555 minus 537. So general reserve aga 18,000. So general reserve coming from S limited is 18,000. And general reserve of P limited is 80,000. P limited ka general reserve pi se 80,000 hai. To pe total general reserve to be shown in the balance sheet is 98,000. Ab balance sheet mein general reserve bata hai 98,000. Ye 98,000 mein P limited ka bhi general reserve hai aur S limited ka aara se general reserve. This is in the case of amalgamation in the nature of merger. Now we will show the balance sheet. See carefully the balance sheet of P limited after merging. To share capital reserves in surplus 2. Non-current liabilities, long-term borrowings, three. Current liability mein trade payable, total. Assets mein non-current assets, fixed assets, tangible, intangible. Current assets mein inventory, trade receivable, other current assets, cash and bank balance. That's it. Now, ultimately, we have to find out all the values in the notes forming part of financial statements. Ab notes dekhe. First note, share capital. 1,7,000 equity share of 10 each fully paid. Kaisa aya 1,7,000? First, you see how much is the number of preferential before merging in P limited. In P limited, how many share? Share capital, fully paid up shares, 7,20,000. Shares of rupees 10 each. 7,20,000. Rupees is the share capital. Each share face value 10 rupees. So, 7,20,000 divided by 10. 72,000 shares are there in P limited. Before taking over of S limited. Now, S limited ko kitna equity shares issue kare? 35,000. To was 72,000 plus 35,000. Dono ko milano 72 or 35, you will get 1 lakh 5, 1 lakh 7,000. 1 lakh 7,000 shares of rupees 10 each, 10 lakh 70,000. Of the above, 35,000 shares are issued for consideration other than cash. Now, here 1 lakh 7,000 and 35,000 other than cash issue kare S limited. Bafi ke jo 72,000 shares the, wo P limited ke paas pile se. To 10 lakh 70,000. Now, preference share capital. Before merging, there is no preference share capital in P limited. And S limited ko jab issue kare, to 1 share 100 rupiah ka hai. Kitna ka amount pe kare? 1 lakh 87,000. 
वन लैख एटी सेवन थाउजेंड रुपीज के प्रेफरेंस शेयर कैपिटल इश्यू करें तो डिवाइडेड बाई हंड्रेड वन लैख एटी सेवन थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाई हंड्रेड यूल गेट एटीन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड वो वन थाउजेंड एट सेवेंटी तो वन थाउजेंड एट सेवेंटी फिफ्टीन परसेंट प्रेफरेंस शेयर ऑफ हंड्रेड इंच तो मल्टीप्लाई करो वन थाउजेंड एट सेवेंटी इंटू हंड्रेड वन लैख एटी सेवन थाउजेंड अब शेयर आर इश्यूड फॉर कंसिडरेशन अदर देन कैश ये पैंतीस हजार इक्विटी शेयर और ये वन थाउजेंड एट सेवेंटी प्रेफरेंस शेयर ये दोनों भी किसको इश्यू कर रही है एस लिमिटेड को इश्यू अदर देन कैश तो टोटल शेयर कैपिटल विल बिकम ट्वेल्व लैख फिफ्टी सेवन थाउजेंड नाउ यू टेक ट्वेल्व लैख फिफ्टी सेवन थाउजेंड ये नाउ रिजर्व सर्विस जनरल रिजर्व ऑलरेडी इन वर्किंग नोट वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड जनरल रिजर्व इट कम्स टू नाइनटी एट थाउजेंड नाइनटी एट थाउजेंड इज द टोटल जनरल रिजर्व विच इंक्लूड एस लिमिटेड एज वेल एज पी लिमिटेड उसके बाद पीएनएल अकाउंट पीएनएल अकाउंट विल टेक इनटू अकाउंट ओनली फॉर पी लिमिटेड क्योंकि एस लिमिटेड का पीएनएल अकाउंट ऑलरेडी इट हैज बीन मर्ज्ड विद जनरल रिजर्व तो हाउ मच इज द जनरल रिजर्व इन पी लिमिटेड यू कैन सी एटी थाउजेंड एटी थाउजेंड इज द नॉट एटी थाउजेंड इट इज सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट इज सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड एटी थाउजेंड इज जनरल रिजर्व एटी थाउजेंड जनरल रिजर्व ऑलरेडी वी हैव इंक्लूडेड हियर एटी थाउजेंड जनरल रिजर्व ऑफ पी लिमिटेड ऑलरेडी इंक्लूडेड Now seventy five thousand PL account and export profit reserve. The export profit reserve coming from S Limited twenty thousand. So total reserves and surplus one lakh ninety three thousand. Long term borrowing में debentures. How much debentures are issued? जितने पहले debentures थे उतने ही debentures issue करा P Limited thirteen percent debentures fifty thousand. Trade payable. Trade payable are creditors. Add up the creditors of P Limited and S Limited. चलिए टोटल ऑफ द लाइब्रेटरी साइट सिक्सटीन लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड नाउ वेल कम टू द एसेट साइट टैंजिबल फिक्स एसेट्स टैंजिबल फिक्स एसेट्स लैंड एंड बिल्डिंग प्लान एंड मशीनरी कंबाइंड फर्नीचर एंड फिक्सचर्स एड अप बोथ टेन लैख सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड इन टैंजिबल एसेट्स वी डोंट हैव देन इन्वेंट्रीज में लेंगे स्टॉक एड अप द स्टॉक ऑफ बोथ द कंपनीज ट्रेड रिसीवेबल एड अप द डेटास ऑफ बोथ द कंपनीज अदर करंट एसेट वी डोंट हैव कैश एंड कैश इक्वल एंड कैश एड बैंक बोथ द कंपनीज यू एड The balance sheet will get tallied sixteen lakh fifty thousand. This is the case when amalgamation is in the nature of merger. Now same problem, amalgamation in the nature of purchase. A purchase ma difference kya hoga? I'll explain you. Come on, students. The same problem, problem number five. We have completed. By taking amalgamation in the nature of merger. Now, same problem. It is asking you to prepare the balance sheet when amalgamation is in the nature of purchase. So, what is the main difference in the case of amalgamation in the nature of merger? It's a genuine pooling. Genuine pooling means the purchasing company not only take the assets and liability, but also it will take the reserves and surplus. That also will be taken into account, right? so the difference between assets and liability will be adjusted in general reserve whereas in case of amalgamation by purchase method only assets and liabilities are taken the reserves are not taken except one reserve if it is a statutory reserve sirf statutory reserve ko chhodkar baaki ke reserves and surplus nahi leta the purchasing company will not take into account and the difference between assets and liability will be transferred to goodwill or capital reserve goodwill or capital reserve not to general reserve that is the main difference now see calculation of pc will remain same whatever be the method of amalgamation whether it be merger or purchase method the pc will remain same now amalgamation in the nature of purchase previously we have written amalgamation in the nature of merger now purchase capital reserve is ascertain ascertained as follows in the second entry If debit side is more capital reserve, if credit side is more, we'll get the goodwill. So in case of amalgamation by purchase method, we may get goodwill or we may get capital reserve. Now we'll check assets taken over. All the assets taken over from S Limited is six lakh sixty thousand. Less liabilities taken over, only two liabilities we are taking into account. The two liabilities are debentures and creditors. Reserves we should not take into account. 
तो टू लाइबिलिटीज फिफ्टी प्लस थर्टी फाइव एटी फाइव थाउजेंड सब्ट्रैक्ट सिक्स लैख सिक्सटी थाउजेंड एसेट्स लाइबिलिटीज आर एट लैख एटी फाइव थाउजेंड तो फाइव लैख सिक्सटी सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड इज द नेटवर्थ ऑफ एस लिमिटेड ना परचेस कंसिडरेशन इज फाइव लैख थर्टी सेवन थाउजेंड we are paying only 5 lakh 37000 but the real value of the business is 5 lakh 75000 to capital reserve capital reserve if we pay more if pc is more then there is goodwill if pc is less there is capital reserve so here purchase consideration is less pc is less than net worth so the resulting figure capital reserve 5 lakh 75000 minus 5 lakh 37 Thirty-eight thousand rupees is the capital reserve. This capital reserve should be shown under reserves and surplus note number two. Now we come to the balance sheet. Exactly same balance sheet. I have not changed anything. The format of balance sheet will remain same. Only one schedule there is change. Only one note there is change. Other items will not change. Share capital note number one. Exactly same. I have copied. No difference. in the presentation of share capital whether it is purchase method or merger method the share capital will remain same huh reserves and surplus will change now in taking reserves and surplus we take into account only reserves and surplus of the purchasing company p limited s limited ke jo reserves hai that will not be taken except to one reserve that is statutory reserve agar uh, vendor company mein statutory reserve hai to wo le lenge Up in our problem, it is given export profit reserve is a statutory reserve which is to be carried over for the next two years. That's why we should take into account export profit reserve. Regarding general reserve or PNL account of S Limited, will not at all be considered. Now, general reserve of P Limited, जो purchasing company है उसका पहला general reserve तो वो तो रह गई. तो general reserve of P Limited will remain same. Capital reserve just now we have calculated in working note. Capital reserve thirty eight thousand. Export profit reserve is a statutory reserve of the vendor company that must be taken, and P and L account of P Limited only, not of S Limited. Only P Limited P and L account seventy five thousand. The total of reserves are two lakh thirteen thousand. Now the entry for and uh, recording the statutory reserve, the entry for recording the statutory reserve is amalgamation adjustment account debtor to export profit reserve statutory reserve. तो उसकी एंट्री जब पास करेंगे तो अमालगमेशन एडजस्टमेंट रिजर्व अकाउंट डेटा ये डेबिट कर रहे हैं एक नया रिजर्व है उसको डेबिट कर रहे हैं रिजर्व को डेबिट करने का मतलब डेबिट बैलेंस है दैट विल बी डिडक्टेड दैट विल बी डिडक्टेड एंड स्टैच्यूटरी रिजर्व इज क्रिएटेड तो यहां पर स्टैच्यूटरी रिजर्व एक्सपोर्ट प्रॉफिट रिजर्व है ये ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड हो गया और डेबिट साइड अमालगमेशन एडजस्टमेंट रिजर्व दैट विल बी डिडक्टेड अमालगमेशन एडजस्टमेंट रिजर्व ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड ये ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड रिजर्व में ऐड कर दिए और ये ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड तो अल्टीमेटली रिजर्व इन सब प्रसाद वन लैख नाइनटी थ्री थाउजेंड तो वन लैख नाइनटी थ्री थाउजेंड इज दुर पुराने ओल्ड बैलेंस शीट में दिस अमालगमेशन एडजस्टमेंट रिजर्व विल बी शोन एज एन एसेट एज एन एसेट अदर करंट एसेट में शो करते थे ओल्ड प्रोविजन के हिसाब से अब न्यू कंपनीज एक्ट टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन से Amalgamation adjustment reserve should not be shown on asset side. It should be shown as a negative figure in reserves and surplus. Reserves and surplus में negative figure में show करो amalgamation adjustment reserve. तो that's why we have taken negative minus. ये एक ही नया point. बाकी के पूरे long term borrowing, straight payable, tangible fixed asset, intangible inventories, trade receivable, cash and balance. All the values are same. What we have taken in amalgamation in the nature of merger. So merger me or amalgamation me, कहीं पर भी difference नहीं आता. सिर्फ difference आता है reserves and surplus. That's all. So this is the end of problem number five.